This brings us to this episode's In the Spotlight, which focuses on the Clarkson School. For me, this is like a blast from the past. It brings me back to 1985, 1986. It was like I got to travel in time because I attended this program when I was 17 years old. It's an accelerated college program, which is located right at Clarkson University, which is an excellent school for engineering, mathematics, sciences in general, and then a whole range of other areas. This is a program that allows kids to skip their senior year of high school and move directly to college. Carol and I, ha and I had an opportunity to visit this program, to talk to some of the students, and to the director of the program. Let's go right to that video. What is this, the Clarkson School? Um, I guess explaining it to somebody who's never experienced it, the easy one sentence definition is, it's a, um, an accelerated college program is what I tell people in just a little snip. You know, you can go one of two routes. You can choose to be dual enrolled in your high school and go to Clarkson and also take courses there. Um, when you're at Clarkson, you have to make sure you're taking courses to finish your, your high school diploma and get your high school diploma. Um, or you can go the other route, which um, I took. I'm not sure if Maddie took this one, but you, you just, you, um, you drop out. You become a high school dropout and you go to Clarkson and you take the GRE, um, not GRE, sorry, I'm in senior mode. You take the GED, um, GED exam. So I do have my GED and yep. guessing, yeah, that she did that as well. Um, and you graduate or you get your certificate after the year of Clarkson and you're, you've, you have essentially become a fully matriculated college freshman aside from a label in the dorm you're in. The Clarkson School is a, an early college program and the students who come to the Clarkson School are actually fully matriculated in Clarkson University and if they stay at Clarkson University they become sophomores so they're regular first year students for all intents and purposes they take there's nothing they have to do in order to become a sophomore except so, pass their classes exactly <laughs> exactly uh, and even then we'll, we'll help them make a transition um, as long as they maintain a, the required GPA for the Clarkson, uni for Clarkson University um, so they take all the same classes, um, with one exception, we have our own freshman seminar, uh, which is strictly for the class and school students, but otherwise they take the regular classes, take the regular course load. Um, the difference is that they have special housing, and we have a community that has a slightly more um, dense level of support, um, so there's more housing advisors, we call it residential advisors are called HAs or house advisors in the class and schools and we have more advising per student. I loved high school early I didn't um, because I didn't feel like high school offered me anything more. Um, I wasn't happy there. Um, I felt like all the classes I were do I was doing um, all the classwork was all just um, stuff for you to, it's busy work. I thought it was busy work. Preparing me for a Regents I was going to take, I was taking IB or AP classes and preparing for a test at the end of the year and then you have a full month free was not my type of like what I wanted for my senior year. I wanted something that would fill in that gate, like that hole um, to where I could do something productive so going to college a year early made me happier. I'm a happier person because of it. And I'm doing something productive. I don't think there's, there's, there's one type. There's a, a set of different sort of characteristics that they might have. Everybody at the Clarkson School is there because they want to be there and um, for me that was a big deal going someplace where everybody's there because they want to be not because the state government said they had to go to school or the federal government said they had to they were there was a student from Nigeria who came you know with my class there's all this the, everybody who's there looked into the school saw something special and wanted wanted to be a part of something special or wanted to wanted the opportunity to show that they were special. Um, if there is a, a, a predominant type, it would be the student that is academically advanced and has run out of options in high school. Mm -hmm. um, and, and 
particularly, but by no means exclusively, that might apply to students in the math and science areas because we are an engineering school. This year, um, I think we're about 56 students. So it's we, you know most everyone. You may not be friends with everyone, but that's typical. Like you have a small group or whatever, but you know everyone in the Clarkson School. We have family dinners um, once every month, um, and then we do the like the little orientation thing where we went to um, Camp Oswegatchie, and then we do that every like three months. Um, and then our most recent one was we went to Smuggler's Notch, a ski resort for a weekend, which is really fun. And then in April they're going um, to a Broadway show um, in Schenectady and shopping and just. And this is just schoolies. Just schoolies. Just schoolie activities. Just schoolies. We also have a support network. So our students get um, advising from academic advisors on a regular basis. And we have tutoring and mentoring set up from uh, both honor students and parts of school students who stayed on. Um, and then you've got the, the mentors living in the community who took the class last year. And that kind of thing we've discovered, that's, that's the secret to the success. And, and that's, I think, is relatively unique for us, um, that idea that, yes, these are first-year students coming a year early, but we're not going to segregate them from upper-class students because the upper-class students are their, again, their role models, their tutors, their peers. It's one of the places where learning takes place outside of the classroom and, and perhaps it's an overlooked or underutilized source of learning, the peer-to-peer -peer learning. It's, it's real learning, it's deep learning. It's not the same as studying in the classroom, listening to the professor. Some of our students will be able to go as a transfer student. Most schools will take them as first-year students with advanced standing. Um, so they'll be able to take advanced coursework. The courses will transfer from Clarkson, but they'll still be a first-year student. And typically that's going to be the case in almost all competitive schools. If you're going into the Ivy League or something like that, they're not going to lose a year of tuition by taking you in and uh, accepting all of your Clarkson credits. They're going to charge you for four years, but they will allow you the Clarkson credits to give you advanced standing, so you'll be able to take Calc 2 instead of Calc 1. You know, the, the choices that scare you the most are the ones you'll probably thank yourself for later. And that's, that's what I would say for Clarkson as a whole, specifically the Clarkson School. So this week's In the Spotlight, I think, highlights a really important need. Nowadays, people who don't fit in are often given an extra year. They're given a bridge program between high school and college, this provides another option that really challenges them and often pushes them in exactly the way that they want to push themselves. That's all the time we have in this episode of EduTalk. Please join us next time.